Hey guys, gals, how y'all doing this morning? It's rather early. I think it's around 4 o'clock in the morning. I had went to bed a little early last night. I was rather tired about 8 o'clock. I was up wide awake around 1 o'clock a.m. and I went to the computer and answered some emails on the recent video I had placed up. I got this rather disturbing email from YouTube and they uh, threatened to terminate my account. They said that uh, I had copyright infringements on King World News interview, which I, I had copied nothing from King World News. Let me get a little bit of gas here, and I'll get back in, and we'll discuss this a little bit more. And I want y'all, I want y'all to give me your opinion on what I'm about to tell you. Okay, guys and gals, I've got me a little bit of gas. You know, it's uh, real early. I'm riding around, but I just felt like I needed to get out a little bit and sit there and, and dwell on what YouTube done. They, they, they claim that I have a copyright infringement on the King World News interview with uh, Andrew McGuire. And it's, it's nothing of the such. Uh, people, it's, it's nothing of the such. All I've done on this video was mention the fact about Andrew McGuire and his interview and posted a link in my description box. That's it. That's all I've done that they have taken down this video. They told me if I didn't take it down, they was going to terminate my account. Now, this is, sounds really strange to me because this is by no means copyright infringement. I have not copied any of their material and put it up on the internet. I have done nothing of this such. And it, it really makes me wonder, you know, because it's been done, you know, I really haven't really gone to check some of the other guys who put uh, the same information up. You know, if theirs has been terminated or their video has not been blocked, I was blocked and told me I had to uh, delete it. And of course, they give me an option to uh, to investigate for them, you know, to a counter, in other words. And I'm not going to choose to do so. You know, it's it's just it's a waste of my time because I can't beat them. I may can, but I'm, it's not worth my while. It's I would rather let you people know what YouTube is doing than me try to satisfy myself and getting the video back up. You know, uh, I put the video up, I think, uh, March the 30th. I think that's when the uh, interview became available. And from March the 30th until today, uh, which is the 9th, and I got this mail around 1 o'clock, you know, the video had 3,829 hits. So people are interested in finding out about this matter, you know, about the CFTC meeting and the uh, manipulation and Andrew McGuire being a witness on the London floor of J.P. Morgan traders uh, laughing about it and uh, smirking in everybody's face about what they were doing, how they could manipulate the prices. And it was uh, it was told in advance when it was going to happen. I don't know if uh, something else is going to come up, but I do have another channel 
uh, up that I just made. And if I have my a cap terminated uh, for s some reason, my other YouTube name is Silver is my game. Silver is my game. So if you see my account terminated or suspended, you might want to go there and I'll be putting up videos once again. You know, could you know, is this a strategy that the the big banks are taking? Are they hacking and implying that there's infringements on uh, copyrights and getting these things taken down. I don't know. Is mine the only one been taken down? I didn't even waste my time to go look. I just know that mine was for no reason at all. You know, I have not in copyright. I don't, there's not a copyright infringement. You know, there's not. All I have done is mention the fact about Mr. McGuire revealing that there is fraud and manipulation and posted a link in my description box. People, that is no, that's, that, that is no way, form, or fashion of copyright infringements. But I, I'd like to uh, get y'all to you know post a reply down there and, and tell me what y'all you know about what you guys think about this you know i actually had to get out of the house i was you know i mean this had, had irritated me to the point where i just went in and got me a shower and, and got my old, my old girl here said it we decided we was going to take a ride and get away from the computer for a minute or so i mean this is uh definitely something that I never ever expected to happen but as things are taking place now it really doesn't surprise me I don't know could I be wrong uh, about maybe some intentions by others in getting these videos taken down or the banks behind it I don't know. Are people that's really making big money off these shorts and contracts, uh, do they have, are they hackers themselves to uh, <laughs> claim copyright infringements on videos? I thank you for your time, people. I've uh, reached the next town over, so really have nothing else that I can really say anymore so I'm gonna take a turn over here and do a turn around and head back home in the meantime I wish everybody the best of luck and the smartest thing we can do is use the media on the internet YouTube and other than that, we need to buy physical silver. We can have a great effect on the prices of silver if we buy it in the physical form. You'll have a good day.